สวัสดีครับนักศึกษาทุกคนครับวันนี้ผมจะแนะนําวิธีการเรียนให้ประสบความสําเร็จกับสถาบันการศึกษาทางไกลของเรานะครับผม 1. นึกษาควรทําแบบฝึกหัดให้ครบทั้ง15หน่วยนะครับ 2. นึกษาควรที่จะทําแบบทดสอบก่อนเรียนและหลังเรียนด้วยสุดท้ายครับนึกษาควรที่จะสอบให้ตรงเวลานะครับผมขอให้ทุกคนประสบความสําเร็จกับการเรียนทางไกลกับสถาบันการศึกษาทางไกลมหาวิทยาลัยกรุงเทพธนบุรีนะครับผมสวัสดีครับ Good afternoon. สวัสดีครับ I'm a c h a n Brian from Bangkok t h o n b u r i University, and today we are going to talk about accommodations. What is the meaning of accommodation? Accommodation means where you live and where do you stay. All right. So we start with a pretest for you. What is the meaning of a pretest? Pretest คืออะไรครับ It means to say a test to To see whether you understand and you know something about accommodation, all right. So I'm going to teach to you the first lesson about accommodation, and that will take you about 45 minutes. s i s i p a n a t i n a k a So please, you have a pen and a paper to keep with you so that you are ready to start the first class. Now, why do we have a pretest? A pretest is given to you so that you know what is your knowledge. Pretest คืออะไรครับเป็นสอบที่วิวิอยากรู้อยู่รู้จักไหม Can you understand what we are teaching you? So that's why we give you a pretest. Now, as you see on your first page, we have different kinds of houses. บ้านบ้านมีแบบไหน Different kinds of houses that you live. Now. People have been living in houses for a long, long time. People live in houses. Everybody has a house. ทุกคนมีบ้านบ้านเล็กๆบ้านใหญ่บ้านชั้นเดียวบ้านตักหลายอย่าง Different kinds of houses. So, but in Thailand, people used to live in a very old house, and they used to call it a houseboat or a boat house. เป็นบ้านบนเรือโอเค it's on a house on a boat all right and that was the oldest way in which people is to live so what is good about a house boat or a boat house มีอะไรบ้างมีประโยชน์อะไรครับ about a house boat now a house boat can be moved you can take it take it from supposing you are you are doing a job here And you are tired. Okay, you can move y a i p a i d a You can move it, move the boat from one place to another. For example, Toyang. Supposing you live in l i e p k l o n g t a v i w a t a n a Okay, you park you to l i e p k l o n g t a v i w a t a n a And after some time, you want to go, want to move. You have a business. You can move. You take your boat and row your boat and move, move it somewhere else. ต่อไปได้ไปเชิญครึ่งก็ได้เชิญสนิทวงได้ไปไหนก็ได้ with the boat so that is the good thing about a house boat okay a house boat can be moved because in Thailand there are many many canals canal คืออะไรครับ canal means คลอง means คลองคุณสามารถเคลื่อนตัวไปได้ไปไหนก็ได้คุณสามารถ so that's the advantage of a house boat or a boat house But many people also live in something called as huts. Hut means a very small house, ban lek lek, very small. Many times a hut is made of plain leaves, by my, or grass. It's not made of wood or it's not made of concrete. A hut, and p r a s a t h a i lekwa k r a t o m k r a t o m pen m a i s h a i m a i s h a i pen. ยีดไม่ใช่คอนกรีตไม่ใช่ปูนบางคำเป็นมาจากไม้ or ใบไม้ okay it's a very simple house เป็นบ้านเป็นง่ายๆ not difficult okay but now ปัจจุบัน at present we have big houses expensive houses บ้านเป็นสวยๆแพงมาก so we call them detached house 
okay? But many years ago, people who used to have what is called as Moban. Moban means Ban Titkan. But now, Mubans are out of fashion. Tony Mi Mileo. Tony Mi Ban Pen, detached house. Like, mean Ban Tini Le, Iban Nule, Iban Nule. Like, you have a garden. Mi Sanam, you can Puk Ton Mai Dai, Puk Dog Mai Dai, Tham Ban Suai Dai. Anilia, detached house. Okay? But, there is another kind of house. Mi Iban Nung, like tree house. Tree house means Ban Bon Ton Mai. It's a house built on a tree right on top. Okay, so that's called a tree house. Now, the tree house is very, very old. Pen ban kao mark, very old. Tony Medi, may me leo. But, tewa, ta yu pai Africa, you know, like in the Boa, Boa Beb jungles, in the Africa, deep inside Africa, they still have got tree houses. It's a house built on top of a tree. Mi ton mai, laka mi ban kang bon le. It is very, very safe. Me port by. No animals, nobody can attack you. It's very on top. Okay, so if you go to Africa, some parts of Africa, UT Africa, Toniko Mi Yu Leo Tree House. There are three houses there. So those are called tree houses. Now, if you go to Pipidon Islands, or you go to Trang, or you go to Phuket, or you go to Krabi. Okay, there are houses built on stilts. Stilt ke lai ban, yune nam, yune me nam, you know, have the stick. And on top of it, in the river, the house is on top of the river. It's, they've got sticks, like supposing this is a stick, this is a stick, and then they build the house on top. And this stick is in the river, these yune nam, tit nam, and they call them houses on stilts. Even if you go to Kanchanapuri, it's on there you have the stilt house. There are houses. It, they are beautiful. It's right inside the sea, right inside, and there are stilts, and the house is on top of the stilts. So it's very beautiful. So those are called stilt houses or houses on stilts. Then after that we have another kind of a, another kind of a house, or it is a house and a thing that they, they used to use for work. It's called windmill. Wind collect loam, wind. So it, it's got a house. If you see it on the picture, it's got a down, below you can stay, and it's got wings, and they move when the wind blows. Well, loam, it moves. So it helps. Some icon, people used to take their wheat, make it into flour, so use a windmill. Now it's not there, but some parts in some parts in Europe still have those windmills. They me you love. it's for tourism. So that's called a windmill. Now at present, Pachuban, everywhere we have flats and apartments. Me condo, me tuk, sung sung, very high condominiums, apartments. And all bankam chow kadai, su kadai, it's up to you. So we call them flats, apartments, or condominiums. In short, san san, we can say condo kadai. Amaina. So pachuban, we use flats, apartments, and condos. And now these flats and apartments are tall buildings, pen sung sung, very, very high, very, very high. Hok sip chan, sam sip chan, very, very high. It's very, very high buildings. And they have a lift, me lift kun pai dai. Many of these apartments have a swimming pool, me sa wai nam, me fitness, le or kam lang kai dai. They have a gym. So an, an apartment or a condominium has everything. Me dong pai nai, you don't have to go anywhere. You ne apartment, me sa wai nam, me or kam lang kai, me gym, tam dai tuk yang. They are nice, compact. Means everything me you lao. My tong dern by night. You don't have to go anywhere. So those those are called flats or apartments. These are the modern ones. Now, in the olden times, some icon, when the ships, rua, the big ships, you know, the cargo ships, the boat, the very big ones, they used to go from Bangkok to Singapore, 
Singapore to China, China to Japan, Japan to, to Malaysia or Vietnam. Those are called cargo ships, very big ships. In English, we call them ocean liners. They are very big ship, very, very big ones. Yai mark, rue yai. And they carry containers. You know, they send the product, import and export. You use ships. Now, sometimes these ships have to go in the dark, like they can't see anything. So they used to have a tall block, a very tall building. And it was like a tower, very, very soon, soon. And on top, there's a light, mi phi. And so that phi, moon, moon, is to go round and round and round and show the, show the captain, well, captain, tinai, mi rock, mi, mi, there's a stone or a rock or a mountain. Don't go there. So the lighthouse is a tall tower and it has got a very big light that goes round and round, moon, moon, and the phi, sawang, on the sea. So the captain, the man who, who drive the ship, can see Hendai. Okay, here's the mountain, here's the rock, be careful. So those were called as lighthouses. All right, so those were called lighthouses. Now, in Europe, Europe, they have a mobile home, ban. Pai Dai, and we call it a camper, or we call it a caravan. Now, what is the meaning of a camper or a caravan? It's like a house, barn, but there were me wheels. They have wheels. So, if you have a big car, you can attach it, join it to the car, and pull, pull it and take it. Supposing you want to go to Kanchanapuri, no need of a tent, no need of a hotel, no need of a resort, kaplot pai dai, because you drive your car and at the back is the caravan. And the caravan, that house, has everything inside. Mi tu kyang, mi tu yen, mi tinon. You can sleep, you can cook, you can do everything. It's called a caravan. It's like a tu, but no, it's a got wheels, mi wheel. So you attach it to the car and pull the car, drive the car, and take it along with you. That's called a camper, or we call it a mobile home. All right, now coming soon, Christmas or New Year, and many people go to the mountains by Pukau, want to see the, they want to see the clouds, they want to see the sun. Like if you go to Chiang Wat Nan, or you go to Chiang Mai, or Chiang Rai, or Pukadung, you know, these places, you go there, there are no hotels. No. So you have to have a simple thing, and they call it a tent. My tent? Yeah, it's a tent. It's very easy. You can fold it, pop die, like put it in your bag and carry it away. It's very easy. And then you go, and then you fix it up, and then you live. That's called a tent. So that is a very easy to ban ben ngai ngai, easy. You know, if you don't want, you take it, fold it, put it in your bag, and go. Go where you want to go. So that's called a tent. Now, many people now will go out, kamlang chak pai, because it's Christmas, it's New Year, very long holidays. You have very long holidays, maybe from the 28th of December to the 3rd of January. Me one youth, Christmas, Swadipi Mai, Wanti Ipet, Tung, Sam, okay, January. So people go out with their family, Pai Kap Kop Kua, Pai Tio, and they carry the tent. And these tents are very easy and may not, not heavy. You can carry them in your bag and go. Now there is a place in, in, uh, in Scandinavia. Scandinavia means up. You did near up in the north in the world, up to the north. We have people who live there and they call them Eskimos. Luchak my Eskimos. Did you hear about them? in my Eskimo. We also call them Inuit Indians. Now these Eskimos, they live in parts of Sweden, Norway, Denmark, up in the north, Iceland, where there is the temperature 
อุณหภูมิ very very cold ลบสิบลบสิบห้า it's very very cold you know in Thailand we don't have in Thailand only it's three seasons we have summer winter and rainy season but in that countries of Scandinavia it's very cold and it's freezing เย็นมาก very very cold so they have houses มีมีบ้าน and they call them igloos อาไหมนะอีกรอบนึง igloos i g l o o igloo now this house igloo is made of ice blocks of ice they take ice and they built a igloo it's a round and a little door here so you crawl and go in and sleep it's an ice it's made of ice and snow so it's called an igloo now the people of Eskimos or the Inuit Indians they live in igloos and that's in up in the north okay then we have people who are called as Red Indians they used to live many years ago in the west in America and they used to live in tents they used to call them tepees there were tents very huge tent very tall like this triangular shape and people used to live in them and those were called as tepees or we call them the tents of the red Indians okay then also we have other kinds of houses where rich people live the king the king of Thailand the queen of England they live and they call them a castle or a palace where the king lives you know like we say Raja Wong okay the king the king Raman 10 he lives in a castle he lives in a palace he has many many castles and palaces now if you go to Switzerland okay in Switzerland they have a house and it's called a chalet now it's a house it's a small house maybe Kangbon it's and it's a small thing and people go there when they go skiing you know land ski or they want to go up the mountains Alps and the Apennines by Saki Lenski they live in Charlotte's okay now there are other kinds of houses called terraced houses now a terraced house means it is made of concrete up it's a concrete like that it's not like this it's flat so we have a terraced house in areas where there is less rain Tami Fontok terraced house Chai Medai Tamai, why? Because if it's a terraced house, the water may wing, it will remain here on top. So, where Tipen area, Tisatanti, Mi Fontok, okay, when there's rain, we have sloping houses. So that the rain, well, Fontok, the Nam Long Pai. So we call them terraced houses are flat houses. It's made of concrete. And it's like this. It's a terrace like this, flat, and not like this. Okay. So a terraced house is flat and usually built in areas where there is less rain. Mi fontok noi mark, not a lot of rain. Because if there is a lot of rain, you can't have a terraced house. All right. And the next is called a cottage. Now, what do we do in a cottage? Everybody has, has lived in a cottage. Some people call it a resort. Cost cottage is in Thai, we say kathom. Sorry, oxygen pit. It's it's a one floor chandio. May mean kangbon like it doesn't have anything on top. It is just one one house, one flat thing. All right. The next is called a villa. Villa is a very expensive house. Very rich people live there. Very big house. Maybe ten bedrooms. Hong non maybe sip. Hong nam me like a me sawai nam me everything. It's a villa. Very, very big house and expensive to build. Like only rich people can build a villa. Like people who are pen mitang year mark, you know, sudai or kosang dai villa. The next is called a caravan. I just told you it's a house on wheels. A caravan is a house on wheels. The next is called a semi detached house. A house is called semi detached. Okay, and the next is called a mansion. A mansion is similar to a villa. Very big, very rich people have meban and 
have so many things inside. It's wonderful. It's happy to be in a mansion, but you need to have money. Tang mi tang you know, to be in a mansion. You can't be anybody can't be in a mansion. All right. So the next, the next is called a house. Now, why do we need a house? Tamai, you need a house. Yak dai ban tamai. The basic thing why we need a house is to live. A house is a place where people live. Mi kun happy. Kwam suk. Mi kwam suk. Mi kop kua. Mi family. Mi luk. Mi mi paraya. Mi sami. Mi you do together. You know, live together and be happy. So that's a house, and you need to have a house. It may be a small house. It may be a very big house. It can be, as I said, a cottage, or it can be a villa, a very big one. But what is important is that in a house there is love. You should be having good feeling. Me tong me feeling looks at the mark in the house. You should be happy. Not have a very big house and may me kwam suk. No, it's not correct. It can be a small house and a happy house. It can be a very big house and not a happy house at all. All right, understand? Okay. The next is called a flat. Now, a flat is a small room in a building. A a house, a room in a building is called a flat. Now, some flats are big. You know, they are very big. They have a bedroom, mi hong non, mi hong krua, a kitchen. And a living room, hong lap kek, but they are big and expensive. Some flats are small. Flat me leg leg, like me hong dio one room. Ti hong non hong non ko man kan hong kin khao ko man kan hong tham alai ko me hong non. Like a me hong nam me tit kan. But that's a flat. But some are big, so we call them apartments. They are very big. A flat is small, and it has only one floor. Chandio, you don't have Chan Kangbon, Pai Me Dai. It's just one room in a building. Now, a cottage is a small house, usually in the countryside. Cottage me peva lai pen ban, okay? In the countryside, countryside kua lai tang chang wat, like a province, okay? So, if you have a cottage, people usually think like you can go to Kanchanaburi, you can go to Prachinburi. Or Supanburi, or go somewhere out, out of Bangkok, or by Bangkok, and then you can live in a cottage. Okay, cottages are usually one floor. We don't have a top floor for them. The next is a little bigger yai kwa cottage. We say a bungalow. Bungalow also mankan cottage. It has one floor, means hong non, hong nam, everything. You ti chan nung, mai mi chan kang bon. May die. May man kan ban. That you have a detached house. Mi kang lan, hong lap kek, mi hong krua, mi hong nam kang lan, and kong non kang bon. No. Banglo is chan dio, one floor. It has only one floor, and everything is on that floor. Means this is the hong lap kek. Then bedroom, bedroom, kitchen, okay, and dining room. Okay, everything on one floor. Okay, the next is called a villa. A villa is a house usually in the countryside or near the sea, kai kai thale. Okay, particularly in southern Europe. So usually these villas are found in Europe, but they find find them in Thailand too. If you go to Thailand, like some people have got villas, very big villas, and they are beautiful. You can stay there and relax, and it's out of the noise of the city. May you t i m u a n g may mi siang dang n i a p It's nice. So if you want to go on a holiday, yak pai t i o you want to pak pon, you want to rest. Okay, you call the number and book a villa, and you can go there and stay there. All right. Next is called a detached or twin homes, but sometimes also called they are called duplex. Duplex means double. Duplex is two. All right. Now, as I told you before, I came back to you that before means about 10 years ago, Thailand used to build townhouses. Townhouses called like Muban. Muban means Ban Titkan, Yao, very long. 
ติดกันติดกันอีน้อยสวอล one common wall but now no most of the houses now are called detached houses okay so a townhouse is with a style of medium density like it's cheap uh, a townhouse is usually very cheap it's not expensive because it's very easy to build and it's not detached you know it's not got a separate garden a separate wall it's just one wall it just go on and on and on and on for a long time maybe 15 sipa or 20 houses in a straight row we call it a detached uh, sorry a town house so that was an old style building nowadays we don't we don't find them very easily but nowadays most of the houses are detached houses all right the next is called a condominium in simple in short we say condo like we say condominium we say do you live in a condo okay you can say a condo but a condominium is comes up and tem tem but in sansan the short word to a yo we say condo now is usually said a type of a real estate divided into several units that are each that are each separately owned means each one like this condo supposing this is a building and it's a condo okay or an apartment okay one room 102 is mine brian 103 is achan nat it's him 104 is achan tom okay so this is mine it's my own i i can do what i want in it it's a inside we have we have a bedroom you have a a little kitchen and a living room so it's quite big and spacious good it's not my my thau kan a flat flat is smaller but a condominium is bigger an apartment is bigger so in a condominium or an apartment you can real, you can have maybe two rooms or three rooms like a bedroom a living room and a little balcony balcony ke rabian rabian so you can sit down in the evenings or you can wash your clothes tak sak sa laga tak dai you can keep them out in the balcony okay because some people like to sit down in the balcony but if if it's hot you can't okay so that's called a condominium Then the next one is called a mobile home. A mobile home, as I told you, can be moved. Mobile, pay while I pay, move, yai pay die. You can move it. You can just lift it, put it on a truck, put it on a big truck, and pay die. You can move it somewhere else. That's called a mobile home. So, a mobile for sorry, a mobile home is built and it's very easy. to be used and it can be moved around the next is called a dormitory san san to a yo le ko dorm ka dai in prasa thai dormitory le ko lai ho pak ho pak nak lien ka dai like bangkok thonburi university have many many dormitories me ye ma me phase a phase b and phase c for the student to be staying there to so that they can relax they can study on time so we have a very big dormitories dormitories in our university so a dormitory is usually pokati usually used for by students and they contain private or semi private rooms for residents usually along common bathroom facilities and recreation area so a dormitory will have hongnam khangnai inside it sometimes you have to go outside but about 80% patsy percent dormitory the toilet is inside and usually a dormitory is for students naklian you know is inside you know campus uti boriwan boriwen khong mahavidyalaya all most of the most of the universities have dormitories okay they have dormitories because they the students have to live you thi you thi kai kai mahavidyalaya phawa tha naklian ma cha kai mak it's lotit you know traffic is bad because the 
ต้องเรียนเก้าโมงเช้า you know nine o'clock the students have to be in the classroom and sometimes they have activities มีกิจกรรม so they กลับบ้านแล้วก็กลับมาไม่ได้ so they usually have to be you nearby ไกลๆมหาวิทยาลัย so we have them most universities have dormitories and they are quite good they have everything they have an air conditioning มีแอร์มีตู้เสื้อผ้ามีโต๊ะมีที่นอน It's inside, okay? And then it's up to you, up to the student to make it look beautiful inside. Okay. The next is called a farmhouse. Farmhouse is a house in a farm, in a far away, in the in the not in the city. So a farmhouse is a building that serves as a primary residence in a rural or in agricultural setting. Means farmhouse, you t i n a m a s h a Farmhouse is not in the city. Farmhouse will be in the in the farm, in deep inside. Where the farmer p u k t o n mai p u k a l a i pen k e p d a It's deep inside, and it's called a farmhouse. And it's usually used for agriculture, farming. Now, when you talk about countries, k u i k a p r a t e t you know, every country. Is divided into cities, mi m u n g mi tang c h a n g w a t province. Okay, so Bangkok has got provinces. Okay, like mi tang c h a n g w a t c h a m a c h a n g w a t c h a m a mi Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, m u k d a h a n Amnacharan, Nan, p a y a o Okay, Surathani. These are called provinces, or we say countryside. Okay, now. Bangkok is a city, is a capital city of Thailand. Now, when when I talk about city, when I say city, you must think about a place, s a t a n t i me t u k y a n g me everything, me me transport, me bus, me me l o t f i me taxi, l k have recreation, recreation k e like the the t i p and you can park p o n d a i like. You yak by do nang, okay? By major, or you go to SFX, go to see a movie. You yak by s u k o n g or yak by t i o okay? You go to Central, or you go to Emporium, like that. So, a city has got everything. You t i m u a n g mi t u k y a n g everything that you want. Not that oh, I don't have my mi my mi bus. Oh, I don't have a taxi. No, that's not a city. A city will provide a city high you t o k y a n g high you everything, so you can just be take it easy. So it's got train. It has got a sky train. Thai people say BTS. Okay, me BTS, me sky train, me MRT. MRT k e r like up. MRT mean lot fai t a i d i n Okay, you have an MRT or underground subway. Okay, you have bus, taxi, songtel, motorcycle, everything. That's called a city. So in a city, you have everything that you need. May me ally no, it's sabai sabai, you know, saduak sabai, easy, comfortable. So that's called a city. So people living in a city usually me me t d like may t may me t d ko me. It's good and bad, you know. It's good and bad. Good, you can you can go. You are never bored. m a y m e b u r Supposing you are boring, okay, go to the mall. Banke. You are bored, okay, go to Central. You are tired, go to see a movie. Or you are tired, you can go to um, the place like Dream World, or you can go to Suan Siam, Siam Park, amusement parks. Okay, you go there. You can go wherever you want. So that's a city. So in a city is good. What is bad? What is bad about a city that if there is too much of pollution? Me more p i t y e m a k Why? Too much, too many cars. Me lot y e m a k So there is more p i t There's pollution. So it's not good for your health. It's not good. Me k h a n g l e n g me sukapap, me k a i d i because it's high pollution. There are traffic problems. Me lot t i t you know. In Bangkok, you got to be careful. t o n g k i t k o n pai mai or mai pai. Why? Because If you want to go from from l i e p k l o n g t h a b i w a t a n a that is from p u t u m u n t o n s a i 4, if I want to go to p i n k l a or I want to go to Victory Monument, Anusavari Chai s a m a r a p u n g I got to think, pai mai or mai pai? Why? Because there's traffic, l o t i t m a g m a So it's very very difficult to travel. So 
everything ทุกอย่างมีที่ดีแล้วก็ไม่มีที่ดีก็มีดีก็ไม่ดีก็มี so in the city you have good and you have bad so the good is you can go wherever you want you can relax you can have fun bad is the traffic pollution so in the province ช่างวัดต่างช่างวัดมีอะไรบ้างไม่มีที่เป็น like s a m e กอก don't have you don't have บางทีมีนะ but sometimes don't have you don't have central you don't have like dream world you don't have these things okay but what you have in the countryside you have air the 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 atmosphere environment TD very good environment good for your health it's no no pollution ไม่มีไม่มีมรดกมีทุกอย่าง so that's why some people When they have a holiday, me p a k p o n they go to the countryside to relax, to enjoy t a m a s h a t natural. Okay, the next place is called a ranch. In Thailand, I don't think there are many ranches, but there is one. We they call it. There's there's a place in Korat area. You know they call it Farm Chok Chai. You know like the place where they have the horses. That is a kind of a ranch. Ranch Kulai is an area or a land, including structures which are primarily used for taking care of livestock. m e a n take care of animals. m e a n m e a n m e a n you have cows, you have sheep, you have goats, you have chickens, and you have ducks and animals. But in Europe, there are many many ranches. There are ranches in Europe, a lot, a lot of them. But in Thailand, it's not not so many as all that. There are a few ranches around, and I told you, k o i b o k l e to you, that one example, t o y a n g is called Farm Chok Chai, or it's called Chok Chai Farm. Okay, they have horses, they have hybrid cows, and you can ride a horse. Okay, you can go on a horse and have fun on the horse. And these places are usually kept for eggs. You can use them for for Milk and milk products. Then, the next one, as I told you before, we call it a houseboat. Like houseboats were there in Thailand, but there are houseboats in a place in India also. They call it Kashmir. If you know, if you heard of that place, it's a beautiful place in India, and many people in Kashmir also live in boat houses. Up to now, okay, they still have these houseboats or boat houses, so you can move. You can just get up, and uh, if you're tired, okay, you can row your boat and take your boat and go to l a t p r a o or take your boat and go to Kanchanaburi because they're all near the river. And then anchor your boat, stop your boat, and then relax there, do some business, and then move again. So those are called boat houses. Next is called, are called suburbs. Suburb is a residential area. Now, what do I mean by residential area? A residential area means an area where people live. Area tipin kun asayu. No factories, no businesses are in that area. It's just for people to live. It's called residential area. People live there. Okay, and they they usually these kind of Residential areas are near to the city, kai kai, kai kai m u a n g you know, kai kai city, so that d o n t a n kai m a k no, not far away. They can just take a take a motorcycle, five baht, and they are at the office. So usually suburbs are situated near near to uh, near to the place of work or near to a city. Then the next one is called a country. A country is a land not in the town or a city area. ไม่อยู่ที่เมืองน o t in the city. It is not ไม่ไกล industrial area. ไม่ไม่ไกล not near not near to l o n g a n No factories. It's not there. It's far away. Very very far away. Okay, that is either used for farming. เป็นชายเป็นปูเขาโอร์ฟุลาไม้ตอนฟุลาไม้ได้ Or left in its natural condition. A natural condition, คืออะไรเป็นธรรมชาติไม่ไไม่มีตกสูงสูงไม่มีโรงงานไม่มี factory. Don't have anything there. It's nothing. It's just natural. ธรรมชาติ is very good for health. 
okay understand okay the next word is a town a town is a place where people live now on your lesson they said human settlement human settlement means what people people live there kun asa yutinun you call it human beings live there it's called a human settlement but it's larger than a village but smaller than a city it's yai kwa muban but lek kwa meung okay so that's called a town a town is a human settlement okay so people live there and it's very smaller than a city okay the next one now let's revise what we did now in a house now when i have a house me ala bang in a house you have a living room hong lap khek bedroom hong non chamai okay you have a living room a bedroom a kitchen a kitchen mean thi tham cooking you cook dining room thi kin khao bathroom ap nam and a hall okay so you have all these things in the house every house has got a living room ok sian ik lop nung na living room bedroom kitchen now many times thai people make a mistake between kitchen and chicken where is your mother my mother is in the chicken no chicken pen kai and this is kitchen hong krua so chicken sogot alai c h i c k e n is a chicken and kitchen is k i t c h e n so don't make a mistake between a kitchen and a chicken they are different all right let's go again living room you say please bedroom you got to say bed room no best room bedroom okay then kitchen then dining room bathroom and a hall okay so if you if you look at the diagram or a layout you know uh, of your house so a living room is down then you have next to it is the dining room and then is the kitchen and then you go upstairs upstairs mean kun pai chan song it's got a bedroom and some houses have got two bedrooms three bedrooms up mi hong non sam and hong nam bang kham mi song bang kham mi nung so many houses have a toilet mi hong nam khang lan la ga mi hong hong nam khang bon duoi okay now i'll give you an activity to do now if you go to your activity 3.1 sam chut nung you have to tang prayog okay? make a sentence you got to make a sentence with the word cook cook means tham kap khao okay then eat kin khao eat keep our coat this is called your coat okay vela you khao pai hong mi thik wang coat dai lai have a shower ap nam watch tv do tv thi nai and sleep non non thi nai where do you sleep okay so you tong tang prayog na khap you got to write a sentence example to yang supposing i say i cook lunch in the kitchen chan tham ahan kang wan yu ni hong krua again please i cook tha tha yu mai mai yak dai i you can say my mother me khong chan my mother cooks lunch in the kitchen okay so now please you tong tang prayog do it chai prayog chai kham sap eat eat me ke bewa lai kin kin khao eat keep our coats cap sue cap your coat now in 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 thailand we don't use coats because it's not cold you know me now so me dey say coat boy boy but in europe i got yen mark yen sabai you know so you need a coat so every house well are you khao pai sha mai tong cap the coat so you keep your coat then have a shower ap nam thi nai khap where do you have a shower in the bathroom okay do tv watch tv thi nai where do you watch tv okay and sleep non so now let's revise again pen pen to make a summary salup na what we have so we have different kinds of houses we have cottages villas bungalows detached houses and villas 
Now, in your house, you have furniture. Okay, you have furniture and things like that. All right, and you have a sofa, you have an armchair, you have a bed, Tinon, you have a bookshelf, Tiwang Nang Su, you have a chair, Kao Yi, you have an alarm clock, Nalika Puk, Ton Chao Tong Turn, Pai Tam Ngan, you have an and you have a two sofa, we say wardrobe. Iglop Nang Nakap, we say armchair, bed, shelves, chair, clock, and a wardrobe. So, with that, we almost finish. Kaitung finish botinung nakap. Did you? Un I hope you understood it. I hope everything is very clear for you. Okay. So, accommodation means tinai. Where do you live? Ban tinai. What kind of a house do you have? Ban mi bet nai. So that's called an accommodation. So we have the word accommodation. Now I will ask you a simple joke. Pen ani muk nakap. Okay. The story is. Ben had a house, Chandio, okay, one floor house. And this girl, Benny, she liked everything pink. She chop si champu. So she me cottage, ban chandio na kap, fang didi, okay. So she had a cottage. So she, you ne ban, she su tukyang, tukyang pen, si champu modle. Chair, shelves, bed, koi. Two sofa, everything si champu. Look, she su lot doi, su ba, su su lot, you know, buy a car, si champu doi. Now, question, teacher Brian Tam you, question, bandai si a like up. What is the color of the stair? All right, so that's not the end of the unit. Uh, I will continue to the next tape. The next topic that we have to continue from here is about the furniture and what are the things that you find in the house mia lai bang une ban okay so we continue from there and to go to the next topic about what is in your house okay what are the things that you find in your house you ti ban mia lai bang what is there in your house okay you have an armchair okay you have a bed okay then you have shelves now e kapot you know ta you me Tiwang nang su mi anneng, we say bookshelf. Ta mi layang, we say bookshelves. Tong tat f, tat f, laga tong term v e s. To it, tong mi book oxyang shelves. Hello, okay, so now I'll revise again the, the few words that were left that were armchair, a bed, bookshelf, chair, clock, cupboard. Okay, and my dear friends and my dear students, this is going to be the end of this lesson. Okay, we will continue with the next lesson after some time. Okay, I hope you understood everything. Kochai my cup. Tame Kochai, please Todai Ba 0823 Mia I mean if you don't understand, tell me, Coach, I told you, 0823 Thank you. Good evening. คุณมีเป้าหมายที่จะเรียนสถาบันการศึกษาทางไกลมหาวิทยาลัยกรุงเทพธนบุรีพร้อมที่จะทำให้คุณเรียนและทำงานไปด้วยได้ทั้งงานและความรู้ไม่ต้องห่วงเรื่องเวลาเรียนไม่กระทบงานประจำเรียนได้ทุกสถานที่เรียนได้ทุกเวลาเข้าดูเทปการสอน
่งการบรรยายทำแบบฝึกหัดรับผลคะแนนเพียงเท่านี้คุณก็พร้อมก้าวไปสู่ความสำเร็จให้เราสร้างความภาคภูมิใจให้กับคุณสถาบันการศึกษาทางไกลมหาวิทยาลัยกรุงเทพธนบุรีเปิดรับสมัครแล้ววันนี้028006800ถึง5